Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing something a bit more fun. I'm going to be doing a challenge video. So a group of us girls here got on YouTube got together and we partnered up and we're collaborating. So today I'm col collaborating with Mia Lee. Her name is Mia Lee on YouTube. So basically for the challenge, we had to choose a style, a tool, and a product to use and what Mia did for me was she chose finger wave as a style, gel as the product, and brush as the tool. So I'm gonna like really try to do this. I don't know how I'm gonna do finger waves with no bobby pins or no clips. Um, I'm really gonna try to do this and if I fail, I'm gonna have to like, I don't know. For her, I chose Frohawk, Perm Rods, and any curl maker for her style. So if you do want to check her video out, I will have her um, video listed below. And you can go ahead and subscribe to her channel. Alright, let's get straight into the video. For this style, I'm thinking I want to do like something like a side part instead of a middle part. I know I always do middle parts, but I think we should do side parts today. Something like... This. I did just come out the shower. My hair is freshly washed and clean. So I'm gonna just like, I'm gonna start on this side of my head. So I'm just gonna pin that part up like that. So she said brush as the tool. So I take that as tangle te teaser brush, a regular brush, and my toothbrush. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna just like re-wet my hair. Guys, I don't know how this is going to turn out. I never tried this before. I always see like tutorials on um, finger waves with short hair. I just never seen one with longer hair. So this should be interesting. And then my hair doesn't stay down. So that's also interesting. It does not stay down at all. Oh my gosh, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Like, there's no bobby pins. Like, how on earth do you... How do you do finger waves? No pins. Okay, I'm going to try something. Okay, so the gels that I'm using today is the... The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Gel and also my Eco Styler Gel. This one is a more lightweight gel, so I figured like I might start off with this. I need pins, like there's no way to do a finger wave without like actual pins. Okay, so I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with my eco styler and just like start like gelling it down and I'm going to go in like the directions that I would want my pins to be Leah girl I need I need pins. Like, there's no way to do this. I'm really like trying to figure out if you guys, if you guys know another way, please comment below. But there's no way to do this. Like, how do you do finger? How do you do finger waves? I thought this was gonna be easy. That's why I agreed. Okay. Can I cheat? Because I'ma cheat. I'ma cheat because there's there's no way. Like there's no way to just because my hair isn't short, you know what I mean? Like if it was like I could just do that and then gel it down and then do that again. But there's no way to hair hold my hair down. The video just started and I'm giving up already. 
So I'm gonna take some bobby pins. Don't kill me. I'm gonna take some bobby pins because I don't know how else to do this. I'm not a hairstylist, so if you guys have some other ways, comment down below because I don't know what to do. Uh, I don't wanna be the only one with a failed video. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. So I'm gonna take some more of that black castor oil gel. And by the way guys, this gel, it's like, I feel like it doesn't do anything. Okay. So I'm going to take that first bobby pin and pin that right there. Like so. Like that. Now I'm going to take a second bobby pin and just pin that right there, like so. Guys, this is like the only way I can see like my hair actually doing like finger waves because other than that, I don't see how I would get them. So what I'm going to do is try to do that like going around but like the back can get like bigger ones but the front I want to be like more detailed. So like for the front, I'm going to start on the front first. I'm trying to like get a part right there but whatever. Okay, so for this part, I'm gonna try to like swoop it down. So I'm gonna get some more gel like so. So I'm just going to try to like bring it down this side. Oh, I feel like I just failed this challenge. Like, I don't want to fail this challenge, but I did. Okay, so I'm going to put one pin right there. Okay guys, so I tried to put like the bobby pins in like all over my head. The back, I can't see. To be honest, I really can't see it. So I really don't care how the back turns out right now. So now I'm going to take some of my Eco Styler Gel and I'm going to just fix my um, edges real quick. And try to swoop. You want to swoop? Swoops are very important. 
when trying to do this finger wave thing because it adds to the effect, you know what I mean? You want to make sure that swoop is in there. I will be taking some pictures with the style in my hair because I think it's so cute in Hollywood and you know I feel like it's picture worthy because it's so cute like when else do you get to have this in your hair just on a regular basis anyways so I'm just gonna take my scarf like so and I'm going to tie this down. I can't tie the whole thing down because I don't want to like move it, you know what I mean? So I'm going to try to get like the top as flat as possible. Like so. Try to like bring this down. And I'm just going to tie this. So guys, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back to you and show you the results of my finger waves. Okay guys, so it's been like an hour or so and I think my hair is pretty dry. I mean, it's not like fully dry because I feel like I would have to probably like go under a dryer with this. But I mean, it's as dry as it can get. If I, if I leave it to dry, it will probably be midnight and I don't have any time for that. So let's see how this looks. So my, my hands have some oil on there, so I'm going to carefully take these out and see um, what definition I get from them. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's actually working. Wait, hold on. I have to be careful. I'm trying to like not like... Did it work? Can you guys see? It kind of worked. I kind of got like a stretched wash and go right here. Like, am I onto something? So, um, I mean, it's not like the big finger wave things because I don't have those clips, but the bobby pins did it right, I guess. All right, let's see. Guys, I got something. I got a little something. <gasps> Look, it kind of worked. Look, oh my gosh, it worked. It's not like fully dried though, so probably not the best idea. Well, it's kind of wet. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, look. How pretty is that? This is so cute. This is actually such a good way to stretch your wash and go. And I'm so happy I know this because like my hair is actually like down flat. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it doesn't look like finger waves. <laughs> it's low key a fail at what I just did, but then I kind of just like, I kind of just figured something else out. So what I'm gonna do is like fluff the back like this, like so. And I'm gonna just like style it just a little better. That way you have like a cute wash and go style ting ting. So, and this is like so cute. 
So, Leah, hair on YouTube, Mia Lee. I definitely failed your challenge. I failed it because, first of all, I couldn't do it by itself. Second of all, these bobby pins did not do anything. <laughs> I didn't even get a good finger wave out of this. It looked good at first, but then now it's just like, my God. Well, that's that for this challenge, guys. I will list um, her video down below, and I hope you guys check her out. And if you do want to see more videos, and if you have more suggestions on anything else that you want me to upload, please leave it down below. I try to respond to everyone's comments, so please leave any suggestions down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!